Listen. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. Are you? How is everything? Yeah, everything is I fine. I can see you're you're spreading your clothes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, I have not seen you for some time. So I'll be, oh, just passing now. So yes, let me come and know how you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> uh, but this one you're asking, I hope all is well. <laughs> <laughs> all is well. Uh, it's just that uh, I want to just ask you a small question. Keep <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that account number that Ma gave to you to give to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know who owns the account number? No, I don't know who owns the account number. <laughs> Ma gave me the account number and I gave it to you. I don't know who owns it. Wait, wait, wait. You're sure you don't know who owns the account number? No, I don't know who owns the account number. Oh. I hope there is no problem. <laughs> Uh, there's no problem. Oh. It's just that I wanted to be sure of who owns the account number that I paid in the money, you know? Uh, <laughs> no, so just for me. I understand. Sure. Uh, 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 okay, now, nah, since there's no problem, let uh, me no, no get my list. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit. I don't need to do what I know how to do best. No be right to shout. Instead, we apply native sense. Papa, where they do? Begin, begin, follow you. Like father, like son, that's so you go for uh, I continue. See, the law. Remember I told you that uh, I got a letter from the FCC? Clearing me of all charges, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> also remember, after that incident, the FCC came to this compound and arrested me. Of which I had to settle. In fact, I had to bribe my way out of their, their custody. I, I, I best then. Can you just go straight to the point? This thing you're saying, I can't comprehend it. Okay, now listen, listen. Prior to all these things, remember I told you I went to the cell to meet with Mark. I told Mark that Mark, I needed your help. I need you to help me out of this FCC custody. Because it was still Mark that helped uh, Bukola Saraki when he had FCC issues. So Mark assured me that he was going to help me. That in fact I should go and rest and relax. That he was going to get a, a, a word across to me. I was here one day. K Brown now met me and gave me an account number. Mark asked him to give me that account number. That, that account number belongs to an ESCU personnel. And I should pay the sum of five million naira into that account. Yeah. Of which I did. Ha! Oh. Ten. Ah now best ten. See, 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 see. Mark has defrauded me. Because the ESCC came back to arrest me. I had to buy my way out too. I had to buy. Oh, oh. I will even pay. So what are we going to do now? Mark has defrauded me. Do, do. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know what to do. <sighs> Millionaire. Mark. This road. Understand though. You're in prison and you're adding weight. The weight makes sense, right? Yes. See, look at your muscles are coming out. My brother, it is the food. 
and the, the money that I'm making inside said, See this sell business. This sell business is good business. Hey. I didn't know. Look. Hey, all these men that are <laughs> going to prison, they are making money, yo. <laughs> Especially when you become sell chairman. <laughs> it's like becoming president. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm making money from revenue. <laughs> <laughs> what, hey, what were you telling me about Bisten? Uh -huh. See, Bisten has been asking questions about that account number that he paid 5 million naira into. He, and I even forgot to tell you, EFCC came and took Bisten. But Bisten is back. He didn't even waste time with EFCC. Everybody was surprised he came back. Hmm. Not just that. I'm beginning to suspect that Bistain is trailing me. In fact, this is not even suspicion. I'm very sure that Bistain is trailing me. Hmm? And whatever he's up to, it is to no good though. Hey. Hey. Bistain came back. Yes. So, Mark, what are we going to do? I don't know. Um, Mimi, please, uh, the reason why I called you is because of the money I paid to you to step down for me. It's quite unfortunate to be is back to the compound. Yes, I understand. I know it's not your fault. Neither is it my fault. But at least let's understand things. I want you to refund me back the money. Mr. Asu, so that is why you called me out of my house this morning? Wait, wait, wait. I should refund you which money? No, Mr. Azu, which money? Have you heard when they refund money in politics? Yeah. Eh? Which money? Where's your receipts? Who was there? Which witness? Mr. Azu, you did not even give me any money, first of all. Oh. You did not give me a penny. I don't have any of your money. So please, don't call me out for such rubbish again, no, Mr. Azu. Wait, Mimi. So, wait. Why are you shouting? You and I know that I gave you money. Why will I not shout? Why will I not shout? Why will you be asking me of money? Which money? You did not give me one naira. Why will you come out of my house this early morning to accuse me? What kind of accusation is well, this? Will you stop that nonsense you're talking? Who's accusing you? Did I not give you money? Did I not give you money to stop that for me? Oh, I said it's conspiracy. This was the reason why Mark planted uh, Gepram in this compound. I think Gepram, Gosset, everybody have had in this nonsense. But I tell you, it was not end that, end that way. I need my money. Listen, Mimi, if you don't give me my money from now to tomorrow, Mimi, if I don't kill you, call me a bastard. Ah. If you don't give me that money, eh, Mimi, I will kill you. Will you will you me? Will me? Ah. If you don't give me that money from now to tomorrow, Mimi, I will give you some money. Don't worry, nah. It does not go to that. Ah. Understand. Why did you bring me here? Kibran, calm down now. Kibran, see, eh? You know that 500,000 naira that Mr. Azu gave to me to step down for him to be the national caretaker? Now, as Bistain came back to the compound, he can no longer be the caretaker. He now came to me now that he wants a refund of the money. He wants me to give him the money back. Eh? So, how is that supposed to be my problem? Eh, Kibran, now, see, I want you to meet Mark to give you back his own share of the money that I gave to you to give him. And let him return that his share so that he can add it up and give to Mr. Azu. When did you give me money? Uh -uh, I keep on. The last episode now. You gave me money the last episode. He didn't give you the money to give to Mark. There is no scene in the last episode that proved that you gave me any money, Mimi. You didn't give me any money. I keep on. I give you that money now. It was in the last episode. Go and watch that last episode again. You will not see any place that you gave me money. See, let me tell you something. Don't involve me between you and Azu's problem. Find a way to settle it. You can borrow money from China. Or you can even go to Oba. There might still be some money inside Bush. Go and pick money and pay Azu. Eh? Don't involve Kibran, me in this I give you money. I give you money in the last episode now. Oh, the, the, the editor, did he cut that place out? I give 
wife give Ron that money? Did no show when I gave him the money? Man, just, just shut up! Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Shut up! Eh? The only thing I want to come out from this your mouth now is when and how you're paying back my money. Because I noticed you defunded me! You defunded me! You are a thief! 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 Stop, stop, stop telling me to calm down! Thief! All I want to know is when you're paying back my money. In fact, what am I even telling you? You have only three days. Three good days to pay back my money and I don't want to know how you do it. Three days! Or you stay outside of me! Three days! They are M M M M business. What? Come. Yeah, just see. official gave me account details that I should give you to pay money, and I gave Gabriel the account details to give to him. How are you sure it is the same account details that I gave to Gabriel that he gave to you? Was I not in the cell? Do I know what Gabriel gave you? Because me, I know my. If I had, if you had, the money had reached the man, the man would have uh, uh, let you go scot free. Yeah, 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 Think, think. You get the point now. Kebra! Yes, Kebra. Yes, you are worrying me. The moment I saw you this compound, I know my plotted in this compound for a reason. I need my 500,000. Kebran, I need my 500,000. Go and bring it for me, Kebran. Did you give me any money? Why would you ask that nonsense? You plan with me to take that 500,000 from me. I know your plot. All of you are I'm going to be back in the station. shop. Uh, uh, officer, arrest him. This is the hoodlum. Arrest him. Uh, for what? For, why are you asking for what? For fraud. Yes, for fraud. You're a fraudless man. Yes! You have the right to remain silent or anything you say or do you use against you in the court of the law. Bam! Sarge, move it. Oh, Abu Sarge, you're moving him! Let him give him a 500,000! I need my 500,000! Let him give him a 500,000 dollars! 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 Look, what I'm saying is, you see that money that um, they sent to your account? <laughs> that 5 million naira? Yes. It is one of my boys that sent the money. Because I sent him to do something. This boy now went and did another thing. Now police have catch him. What? Police have catch him. And it's your account that he sent that money to. Hey! Hey? Oh, how could they be how could they allow such thing to happen? Hey? But, but now it's like this now. Eh? What are we going to do? Look, he wants to put me inside trouble. Huh? Hey? And you, you know that um, if you put me in that trouble now, they will carry me away from here and take me to another cell. Then that 150 million naira that I kept somewhere now, you will not, you will not get your own share. You are into trouble already. Eh? You are into trouble already. So it is you now. You know you are already a condemned criminal. Everybody know that. Yeah? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with this one? You want to kill me? I say, find me. He want to kill me. Eh? You are very, very stupid. If you try that thing again, I will kill you! Come on, come on, Sheba, you idiot. Come on, Sheba, come on. You don't have the hope of going out. Yeah? I don't even have any hope of leaving this there so soon. If you disturb us here, I will kill you like that! Uh, let us discuss something important. Um, you know you are already condemned. So what are you going to do? So, Mr. Beston, who exactly did you give the money to? Okay, sir. <clears throat> Let me explain how this thing happened. Actually, I and Mr. Mark here had a business deal. A legitimate business deal. Later on, K. Brown came and gave me an account number, saying that Mark asked him to give me the account number to make payment. I said, okay, since they are friends, I made payment into their account. Only for me to find out from Mr. Mark that uh, the account number Kebran gave to me was not the same thing he gave to Kebran to give to me. So this guy has defrauded me. This guy is a thief. Okay, that's Where enough. That's this? enough, Mr. Bistern. Um, Mr. Kebran. Sir. Did you give him any account number? I didn't give him any account number. I don't even know what he's talking about. Hey. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Mark, how did you get involved in all this? Look, DPO. You see this thing that uh, Bistern just said now? It's exactly a lie. Yeah. Me, I don't know anything about business. When did me and, uh, and Besten start doing business? Besten, when did we start doing legitimate business together? Imagine me and Besten in a business. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Mr. Besten, 
Do you remember the name of the person you paid money to his account? Yes, sir. The name is uh, one, um, one Mr. Co 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 Collins Easy. Yes, Collins Easy. That was the, the, the account number this thief gave to that's me. A, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Now, Mr. K. Brown, do you know any Collins Easy? I've never heard that name before in my life. Oh. No, I don't even know what I'm doing here. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Inspector, bring Collins Easy. Sir, you have gotten him. Wow! Wow! That's nice! That's nice! This really shows that the police is doing their job! They're doing their job! To apprehend criminals! Take you! Take you to jail! Too hard now! Eh? How about? Ha! Now... Do you know this man? I don't know him. I don't know this human being. Mr. Kebran, do you know this man? I don't know him. Ha! Liar! You don't liar! Him. I don't know him. Boss. You know him? Sir, of course I know him. So, Are you denying me? How did you know him? Sir, as a matter of fact, he's my boss. He's the one that normally sent us to go and kidnap him. Hey! Jesus! Me! See, sir, as I speak to you... Will you shut up your mouth here? Who knows you? Stop that! Boss, why are you doing Don't shut him out, uh, Tell them the truth now. Huh? Guy, guy, guy. I don't understand why you're denying me. Oh. So, sir, as I was saying, the 5 million naira that was sent into my account was sent directly from his own account. Based on the last kidnapping we did. Tell the police the truth now. No, 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 shut, shut, shut up there. Shut up there. Eh? What do you mean? You better say the Do I know you? Do I know you from any way? You don't know this man. I don't know this man from any way. So how come you paid 5 million naira into his account? See, sir. That was the account number that kept on giving me. First time. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say, yeah, can and will be used against you in the court of law. S sir, there's a mix of songs. It's Peter King! Sir, tell him the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, 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 My lord, case file OYHC slash 112 slash 2021. A case between Mrs. Mimi, the claimant, and Mr. Besten, the accused. My lord, both the claimant and the accused are present in court. Appearances? Respectfully, my lord. My name is Dr. Victor Ehiogo, Esquire. My appearance is for the claimant. My lord, my name is Ebubedike Apambo of Apambo Solicitors and Associates. I stand in for the accused. Thank you, my lord. What is the case stated for? My lord, the matter is stated for cross-examination of the accused. May I call up the accused, my lord? You may proceed. The accused, please. Do you wish to swear or affirm? I wish to swear. <clears throat> Thank you. Your left hand and then you raise up your right hand. You repeat after me. I. I. Your name, please. I, Mr. Bestel. Do hereby swear. Do hereby swear. Before this honorable court. Before this honorable court. That everything I shall say. That everything I shall say. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. May we proceed, my lord. Proceed. Thank you, my lord. Please, would you tell this honorable court your name and where you reside? My name is Mr. Bisten, and um, I stay in our compound, the leading compound. Thank you very much. What do you do? I am the caretaker emeritus. That's what I do for a living. Yes. Mr. Bisten, I would like to ask you, in what capacity do you know the complaint in this matter? 
Um, <clears throat> Madam Mimi here is uh, a member of our compound, and uh, she's a co-tenant in our compound. Yes. What do you know about this matter? Um, actually, we had a meeting in the compound, and Madam Mimi stated that I should uh, formally give a breakdown of how I spent 37 million naira that was collected as a loan from the Chinese company. And um, the, the said loan was supposed to be for the renovation of the compound, which I contracted to her to renovate the compound. So I'm saying she cannot be asking me to give her a breakdown. Rather, it should be the other way around. She's supposed to be the one giving me a breakdown of how she spent the money I gave to her to renovate the compound. And she brought the matter to court. Mr. Bestem, I would like to ask you, did you in any way embezzle this total sum of 37 million naira? Objection, my lord. I want to put it to my learned colleague that uh, this is a leading question. And leading questions are not allowed in cross-examination. Objection sustained. Thank you, my lord. You may proceed. That would be all, my lord. My lord, counsel to the claimant is done with the cross-examination. May I discharge the accused? Discharge? Please. Thank you. And my lord, may I proceed with cross-examination of the claimant? You may proceed. The claimant, please. Do you wish to swear or affirm? I'll swear. Okay. Your left hand on the Bible, then you lift up your right hand. Now you say after me. I. I. Your name, please. Mrs. Mimi. Do you hereby swear? Do you hereby swear? Before this honorable court. Before this honorable court. That anything I shall say. That anything I shall say. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My lord, young woman, could you please tell this honorable court your name? I am Mrs. Mimi. Where do you stay? I reside in our compound. What do you do for a living? I am the national caretaker elect. Okay. What do you know about this case of 37 million naira contract? Mr. Bestein took a loan of 37 million naira in the office of the national caretaker to renovate the compound and instead he squandered the money oh you have superimposed yourself as the judge of this case and have found him guilty of this objection crime. my lord my learned colleague here is already assuming the position of the judge and hereby passing judgment on my client no i never did that on the contrary rather it was your client that has stated categorically here before I this honorable court, court I basically that my you client, before the court it was your client that already. you did not advise you are already well. passing judgment on my client judge before this honorable court that he has passed before the honorable court you are already passing judgment judge? she was making a judgment she was making a second this is wrong order 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 my lord order apologies my lord apologies you may proceed thank you my lord um young woman has there been at any time before now, that my client, Mr. Bistain, gave you a contract of renovating the whole compound. Has there been any time like that? No, there was no time like that. I don't know anything about any contract. Jesus. <laughs> was there any time that you subletted out the job that was given to you by Mr. Bistain? To someone else to do no there was never a time like that okay do you know any woman by the name eberi residing in the same compound where all of you stay 
I've never heard such name. I don't know anybody named Iberi. I've never even heard that name in my life. I don't know any Iberi. Well, I want to make you understand the meaning of perjury, young lady. If you are found guilty of perjury in court, it's a crime of its own. My lord, I want to put it straight to this honorable court that this lady in question here does not command the local standard to even in the first place bring my client into questioning because she's just a caretaker elect. She has not been confirmed, she has not been sworn in, and she has not even been given any mantle to continue. And there's every tendency that her position could be challenged in a law court that has jurisdiction. So my lord, I want to put it straight to this honorable court that what we are doing here is just a legal exercise, which will eventually end up in futility. My lord, at this point, I want to rest my case. My lord, counsel to the accused is done with the cross-examination. May I discharge him? Discharge. And my lord, may we proceed to cross-examination of the witness, Miss Ebere. You may proceed. Please, Miss Ebere. Mr. Bere, do you wish to swear or affirm? Swear. Swear. Okay. Your left hand on the Bible. Then you raise your right hand up. Now repeat after me. I. I. Your name. Eberi. Do you hereby swear? Do hereby swear. Before this honorable court. Before this honorable court. That everything I shall say. That everything I shall say. Will be the truth. Will be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. My Lord. Madam, could you please tell this honorable court with competent jurisdiction your name? I'm a Barry. Where do you reside? I live in our compound. Do you know anybody by the name Madam Mimi? Yes, she's a caretaker elect. Very good. How do you know her? She lives in our compound. Has there been any form of um, business transaction that took place between the both of you in the most recent past? Yes. Could you please tell this honorable court what the transaction is all about? Besten gave her a contract to renovate the compound and she outsourced it to me. I have an evidence here that shows that what you just said now is correct. There has been a transaction between you and Madam Mimi. And uh, the contract was signed and uh, some money ex uh, extended to you for the job. Um, Clark, please, the evidence I show to you, could you please show to Madame Berry, let her affirm if she actually signed those documents. Is that it? Yes. My Lord. My Lord. Madame Berry, having affirmed the fact that uh, she's aware of this document and duly signed it, alongside Madame Mimi, I want to pray this honorable court to accept this document as an exhibit. It will help us in the realization of this case, my lord. This document is admitted in evidence and marked exhibit A. As the Lord pleases! <laughs> my lord, at this point, I want to tentatively 
rest my case pending when I will be required to prove in addition to the fact that my client here is actually not guilty of any crime. Thank you, my lord. My lord, we are done with examination of the witness. May I discharge her? Discharge? Please. This honorable court has carefully listened to arguments from both sides and deem it expedient for the doctrine of natural justice, equity, and good conscience to be upheld. In the instance case, the court needs a wider legal view on the matter, and a five-minute recess. The court will rise. Court. Chop by chop, it's not my fault. Them bring the solution while I follow and come. This now our politics, yo. Our government, you know they try at all. Nigerian politics don't bomb. Hey, but you didn't tell me these things now. You didn't tell me that I'm not supposed to do that. I should right tell now. you about your own neighbor. Hey, very supposed to be your neighbor for God's sake. How would you go ahead to deny your neighbor? See, Lord, I know I had to deny so many things. Eh? I don't know I, I'm not supposed to deny every day. You, you have really made this case more strenuous. You had a good case before. Can you put on that call? No, no, I want you to tell me on which side are you the plan? Why would you support evil? I don't, I don't understand. What is the problem? No, stop it. Don't make me to shout in the court privacy. Wait, Mimi. Mimi. So you went in there to tell the judge that I did not give you any contract? You didn't give me any contract? Hey! Some people can lie like this. The law, you went there watching her. Tell the judge that I you did not give her any contract. Why are you so much evil? You know that President took money, he didn't win the name of the man, that's seven million dollars, and you're the court, you're supporting him. Why can't you stand? I don't represent your matters very well. You are not representing your matters. I give you two things. You are a liar. 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 What is wrong with you? But what is wrong with you? 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 What is wrong with Cancel to the complainant. Do you have any further adumbration for the final address before this court? Judge, they are stolen my iPhone in this court, though. Yes. Yeah. Order. This place is not a village square. You are guided against normal misbehavior. Else, you'll be cited for contempt of court. Counsel, you may proceed. My lord. It has been proved before this honorable court, beyond reasonable doubt, that my client here is innocent of the crime he's been alleged of. Number two, my lord, Madam Mimi here, that brought about this case, does not have the local standard like I have postulated before now to bring my client to court for any reason. Because she is just recently elected and is even yet to be sworn in and given the portfolio to practice as a uh, um, national caretaker. National caretaker. Yes. So she is just a national caretaker elected as I speak. Having put that, my Lord, I want to plead and pray this honorable court to please strike out this case on the ground of lack of merit. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> you 
are too much. You are too much. Hi! Cancel anything. No, my lord. After a thorough legal consideration of the matter before this honorable court, I hereby submit that Madam Mimi, as a caretaker elect, has no legal right to sue Mr. Baystein. Therefore, I hereby dismiss this case as it lacks merit. As the court pleases. The court will rise. Court. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video.